and improved user experience. Subtle UX changes add up to a big difference. Some of the most significant improvements in the 2017 release of FrameMaker are subtle. Here are some of the changes we've made in how things display in FrameMaker to make it easier for you to create content. In the View menu item, we've set most of the commands to apply across all active documents. So for instance, if I turn off rulers in one document, rulers turn off in all active documents open in frame. This also applies to structure items like element boundaries, boundaries as tags, and banner text. We've renamed the history pod the undo history pod, since basically what it does is give you a list of things which can be undone. In previous versions of FrameMaker, there was a console window that would open if there were any problems encountered while opening documents. That console window has been turned into a pod, so you can find it now under View, Pods, Console. If you have messages here that you'd like to get rid of, you can hit the trash can to clear those messages from the pod. Previously in FrameMaker, many things like the Variables pod had subpods associated with them for creating or for editing variables. If I choose the Create or Add Variables option now, this now comes up as a dialog box. Because it's a dialog box, I can make whatever changes I want, and then when I'm finished, by hitting either OK or Cancel, the dialog box disappears. Note that this dialog box, like most others, will show up in the center of the screen, making it easier to locate, rather than showing in a default position or in the position last occupied by the dialog. Many lists of items, like the Insert Symbols list, are now shown alphabetically to make it easier to find content. This applies also to the, the Find Change command. So if I go to Find Change and then choose my list of available options, it's much easier to search or navigate through this list. Some of the most popular pods like the cross-reference, markers, and variables pods now open in the bottom right of the list of items on your page. This makes it easier to find those elements when you have many pods open. The mini table of contents is one of the most popular features in the last few versions of FrameMaker. We've retooled the way the mini TOC works so that not only can you update a mini TOC by coming in here and choosing to update or delete the TOC, and to update it by using the update book command. But now when you save and print, the mini TOC will be updated as well. Even the auto spell check got a bit of a facelift. Now, when I'm typing in a word, the auto spell check doesn't kick in until I'm finished typing that word. That makes for less squiggles as you're typing and less distraction while creating content. While many of these features are small in stature, we hope you agree that they add up to a big change in how you'll be using FrameMaker and how fast you're able to work with your own content. If you have questions or would like more information, please contact us at techcom at adobe.com.